Today I'm going to show you a combination of filters that produce distressed halftone effects, which gives an image a high contrast newsprint style appearance. The main effect is made of halftone dots, but I'll also show you some additional tweaks you can apply to produce other pattern effects too. I'll be using this free image as part of this tutorial, but stick around until the end to see how this halftone effect can be easily applied to other images after it has been set up. Since I'll be focusing on just the face of this portrait, I'll quickly straighten it out. If you're working with a different photo, skip ahead a little, otherwise drag the layer over the new layer icon to make a duplicate. Use the Command and T shortcut or Ctrl and T on Windows to transform the image. Rotate it to straighten up the face. Press Command and E to merge this layer down with the background. This particular image is pretty large at 4000 by 5500 pixels. The larger the image, the more detailed the halftone pattern will be as the dot scaling becomes smaller. Go to Image and Image Size and resize the image to around a 3000 pixel width. We first need to convert the image to black and white. The easiest way to do so is to add a black and white adjustment layer. All the halftone effects will be applied to a new layer, but this layer needs something in it for the filters to work. Go to Edit and Fill, then choose 50% grey. Right click on this layer and choose Convert to Smart Object, so the filter options can still be edited after they've been applied. Go to Filter and Filter Gallery and choose Halftone Pattern from under the Sketch menu. The settings of 2 size works for this image, but you can increase the figure for bigger dots. Keep the contrast at 0 and change the pattern type to dots, but we'll come back to check out the lines effect later. You could use just a basic halftone pattern with clean and crisp circles, but I like to grunge things up with distressed effects. Click the new icon at the bottom of the filter gallery panel to add another effect. Choose torn edges. Reduce the contrast setting to 0 then set the smoothness to 13. Move the image balance slider to the center around 25. To allow this distressed halftone pattern to interact with the tones of the image, change the blending mode to hard mix. The contrast is a little too harsh with too much of a bitmap look, so reduce the fill amount to allow the underlying image to show through slightly. Around 80% works well. As a finishing touch, add a gradient map adjustment layer. I'm using a preset from my free collection of duo tone gradients you can download from Spoon Graphics, but the colour values are 2A1C33 and D2BB8F. We can now play around with the filter settings to check out some alternative effects. Double click the filter gallery effect in the layers panel. If you move the image balance slider, you'll notice the tone of the pattern changes after so many digits. See how the darker halftone pattern produces a darker effect when applied to the photo. Conversely, moving the image balance slider the other way generates a brighter effect, which might suit your chosen image better. The other option you can experiment with is the smoothness value. Maxing it out to 15 doesn't look right at all, but 14 gives a clearer reproduction of the image. I prefer one step down at 13 to boost the contrast a little. To customise the effect further, you could add a twirl effect under the filter and distort menu. Use the default 50 degrees figure to see how it bends and warps the dots, which produces more of an engraved effect, like you see on the back of banknotes. Turn off the visibility of the twirl filter in the layers panel to revert back to the halftone effect. Double click the filter gallery again. This time change the pattern type of the halftone effect to lines rather than dots to create yet another version of the effect. This halftone lines effect can also be made to look like an engraved illustration by applying a wave filter from the filter and distort menu. For the scale of this image, settings of 79 and 80 for the wavelength and 5 and 6 for the amplitude work well, making sure you have the sign option checked. One of my popular pieces of content on Spoon Graphics is my engraved effect tutorial and complementary action, but this is a quicker and easier version of that visual effect. Since this effect is added to a totally new layer, it's really easy to replace the image. Simply place another photo within the layer stack underneath the smart object layer to see the effect immediately applied. The final result is a cool halftone pattern effect with a range of options to customise its appearance. 
What's great about this effect is how the hard mix blending mode allows the pattern to conform to the tones of the original photograph. It also makes the dots or lines appear smaller or thinner over the lighter areas. The addition of the torn edges filter also gives the effect more of a distressed appearance, rather than an array of perfectly clean and crisp patterns. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, a thumbs up to help spread the word would be really appreciated. Subscribe to the channel to stick around for more of my content, and join my mailing list over at Spoon Graphics to get your hands on my free bundle of design resources. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.